What's up? This is Jelle Keizer uh, here at FL Studio. Uh, my favorite producing software ever. Um, you might know me for uh, Mighty Fools. I've been in the Mighty Fools for 11 years until 2018. Uh, I started my own project now, Keizer Jelle, which is my name in reverse. I found it was pretty funny, but who knows? Um, today I'm going to show you uh, two projects. One is my track. I just gonna show you a bit of the arrangement about uh, how I made the bass line. The second project probably is more interesting for you because um, it's an FL only project. So only FL uh, native plugins, only FL samples that you get with it for free. So no need to buy crazy sample packs, no need to buy uh, crazy plugins because you can do it all in the box. And that's basically what I grew up with. Uh, I've been using FL since version 3.4, I think. Uh, pretty soon I found out there were a lot of plugins and really cool ones and uh, still to this day mostly I use the basic standard FL plugins uh, which have my preference because they work super solid with, uh, with the program. So uh, right here we have uh, my track and this track is um, to me a pretty special one, one of my favorites. Um, it's a tech house track, really heavy. Um, it's called Players Club and you'll soon find out why. Um, you can see it's not too complex of a project. All the colors are um, either automation or samples. I use loops here and there just to fill up the whole sound. But in general, I use the basic way, the beat. This is the bass that I work from. So the full track. Uh, I'm just going to skip through it a bit for you to hear what the whole project is. Crazy build up. So this is a track. It has a few very important elements, which is of course the vocal players club, players club, and as well as the bass. Um, let's start with um, the bass, as I just showed you the basic beat. Um, the bass is made in my favorite plugin ever. It's the three times oscillator. As you can see, since 2000, so whenever I got my first FL Studio copy, this was already there. To me, it's really nice because um, if you need a sine wave uh, or need a few adjustments to a sine wave or a saw, this is the place to go. Um, back in the first five years of Mighty Fools, all our bass lines were made in this plugin as well. Um, but this time, it's all based around a sine wave. And the sine wave is probably the heaviest signal you can get. So I used some saturators on there. The very uh, highly discussion generating plugin, the Sound Goodizer. Um, you're either a fan or you hate it. I'm a fan. And that is because it has a really unique and distinct sound. And some people don't like the touch. I like the touch. Don't put it on your master, but on like separate um, tracks, uh, separate stems. It's really good. You got a compressor. Uh, nice little curve going on and a kickstart of course um, i'll show you the bass separate so the routing is pretty simple to me um, as you can see first i got uh, saturators then sound goodizer for that extra little touch compressor to control the whole thing then the curve you just saw to keep control of it and the kickstart for the side chaining um, i made separate buses the through I put it before my master and the true bus is just my personal preference, but um, I like to, um, I'm a control freak. I like to control the signal. So all the uh, separate um, buses go into the true bus where I have BX control plugin, which makes the sub sound mono and a curve, which uh, chops off all the unnecessary frequencies. I normally work on PC. So uh, some plugins weren't loaded on uh, the Mac, sadly, but in this story, they're not really relevant. And then this signal goes into the master. So next to the bass line, the really fat bass line, 
with my favorite plugin, um, I have the Players Club Vocal. And that vocal is really chopped up version of an a cappella. Players Club, I'm like Players Club, Players Club. So this was um, copy value, so I can get back to it in a bit. Um, there. Stick your hand out and put an ice cube in it. Players Club, I'm like Ice Cube in it. Saying what up, like he a nice dude, in it? See you in the coop, my ice you in it. And then we chop it up. Players Club, Players Club, I'm like Players Club, Players Club, say Players Club, Players Club, I'm like Players Club. There was this track by a Spanish producer called Wade, and he had a track called uh, Killing Us. And it has uh, a low pitched voice going through the whole track. And it was really hypnotizing. So when I heard that, I was like, I got to try it. And then I found this sound. And uh, I think it works pretty well. Players Club, Players Club, I'm like Players Club. Players it has Club. like a certain Fair coolness up. factor and a certain energy. Combined, you get this result. So the loops are just some simple background things. Little percussion things. And then the beat itself is this with the bass and the vocal. So I use loops sometimes just to spice things up a little bit. And they're not really the main sound. Uh, to it all. So next to this track, I have another little um, project and you can already see it. It's called FL Only. And when I was invited for this talk, I thought it would be pretty funny to do something with only built-in plugins. Uh, only built-in plugins, except for one, which is the Kickstart. And everybody knows it was, uh, at least in my days of FL Studio, it was a hassle with linking the fader to the, the P controller and all that kind of stuff. So ever since the Kickstart plugin, I can't live without and I don't even want to try any other options. Well, I'm pretty sure there are different options right now. So um, this is a simple Tech House kind of beat, but all these samples come from this little folder you get with FL Studio for free, the packs, and you have the drums. And there are really good drum sounds in here, actually. Like just going through, there's a ton of options on the kits as well. Uh, percussion, even really good effects. And I know everybody's really eager on using the Vengeance, but uh, this ain't that bad. And I use them pretty much in my own tracks, actually. And um, it works. It even gives a sort of a retro touch, I think, because many samples you've heard in one way or another before. Um, so this is uh, the project. Again, beat separated with the sub. Uh, over here we got loops, some automation effects. There's a little vocal going on, which is also from uh, this package. Freak me, baby. So it's uh, not that bad for one uh, little afternoon of work. Um, we have the beat. Just a, a selection from all the, the sounds we have right here. Um, really cool kick. Um, I did a little bit of the wave shaper on there for some saturation, um, some EQ. I, I don't know why I do it like this, but personally for me, it sounds the best if I remove a lot of mid end. It gives that sort of, um, I don't know, it's it's subtle, but it's still out there. So this was the kick, I'll solo it. Wave shaper, really heavy. 
on there. It gets really clean and there's a lot of space for the rest of the beat, but it still feels powerful because we sent a really powerful signal in there. Bit of compressor for control, another EQ just to um, yeah, basically keep control of it. There are no unnecessary frequencies below there. Rest of the beat pretty much explains itself. Here I experimented with a tom, but it was really shitty. So I uh, <laughs> removed that again. Uh, just a little sounds here and there to fill it up. Uh, the hi-hat, a lot of compression on there. Just to really pump it up really heavy. So we just started with this, um, then added the vocal. And that was Feed me, baby. this sound. Um, I used a bit of chorus on there to get some stereo effects. Uh, Wave Shaper again, just one of the presets to get it uh, that really noisy, gritty sound. Um, the Sound Goodizer, a lot of it to really pump it up. And I'll show you uh, what the plugins do. Feed me. You get a really nice gritty sound with that. This pumps it up. Control. And remove the unnecessary frequencies. Some delay for in um, the build up in the FX. Reverb as well. Bit of sidechain in there. So that's a pretty cool signal. Just chopped it up a bit to uh, give it something unique. Um, what else we have? Again, the sub. This right here, this plugin. I think this is the biggest secret in FL and the most underestimated plugin. So the default sound. Um, let's open this up a bit. If you know the Seinfeld theme, you really recognize this sound instantly. So the funny thing is, it's a kind of a bad bass emulator, but if you remove the treble and the mid, you get a really clean bass sound. And if you do that really low, like that, it's actually the typical tech house bass that you hear everywhere right now. Um, so what I did was adding some saturator again, just to fill it up. And you can really see it if you turn it off and on that like there's a lot of more signal going on so everything above 1k is gone don't need that and then another bit of eq just to give it a certain sound and a compressor again for some control kickstart for the side chain Added some loops here. Um, one is panned left, the other pan is uh, panned right. So you get some more stereo experience within the the whole project because the the beat in general is pretty mono as a signal itself. I mean, I put some things left and right, but the loops make it a bit more wide for the experience, and they're really soft. As you can see, like the fader is almost all the way down, just to fill up the background. So if I turn it off. You don't even really miss them, but it still feels kind of empty, so. Um, next to that, we got the ride for a bit of energy and all these really cool default FL samples. Um, I should use them more, way more often. Uh, white noise um, made in the three times oscillator, of course. Uh, remove the unnecessary frequencies. And we got riser here which is uh, a string sound originally. Pitched up really high. And I just gave that uh, pitch automation. And that's basically it. So um, it's a simple project, but it kind of is the way, essentially how I work with most of the projects. Uh, of course, you can get all the crazy sample packs you can, you can find, but it's not always necessary to be on the look for all these plugins and all these samples while you have like most of the essential things right here in the box. And this might not be a Beatport Top 100 or a hit record, but I mean, it's pretty cool. And I could play this tonight if I want to. So, um, 
uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to give you like the, the advice to really know your program and really work from the few tools that you have and start expanding from there instead of having all these choices and then having a really hard time to select what you're going to use instead of just knowing the basics and going from there. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, my little masterclass. I hope you picked up a few things uh, of it. Um, go check me out on all the socials at Kaiser Yella. You can find me everywhere and uh, hope to see you at some party soon. So cheers. Thanks. Play your 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 play